Hey guys, Ben with KCT here, back with another video for you guys, and this time we're going to be talking about some upgrades I did to my shotgun. As you can see, it is a Mossberg 500 with the Magpul buttstock and forend. These are the old school ones, so this is actually a Mo forend, not an Unlock forend. So I went ahead and threw a light back on it. I'd had one on there earlier in a different configuration, but I went ahead and threw on a Viking Tactics mount, which I'd used before. However, I always mounted it above the bore, and I like the way that it looks. I like how low profile it is below the bore, or below the, uh, well, not mounted, so it's above the bore. Uh, I think that looks a lot better. However, it is a little bit more difficult to activate. Yeah, and still, turn it on, do whatever you need to. Turn it back off. Um, I got so concerned with a momentary on with a shotgun, similar to the fact that you're running that pump, um, and so keeping your thumb or whatever in the light is going to be a little bit more difficult as you're dealing with the recoil of the shotgun, you're running the pump and all that stuff. Um, so your momentary on, I think, if you're not rocking a pressure pad, your momentary on is a little bit more of a pipe dream than something that um, I'm really going to be trying to optimize towards. So for me right now, a constant on is definitely okay. So also you might notice up front we have an HFD2, Home Front Defensive Devices, Pumpkin Puncher. That is an awesome tool and it's certainly appropriate for the season. Lastly, we have a red dot here. This is just a primary arms, uh, one of their old micro dots. Um, this is really, really old, probably nearing the end of its life right now. Um, the dot is not super bright, even on fresh batteries, but it is what it is. And it is on a UTG mount there. And that is just a standard uh, top of the 500 series uh, mount, just pick it any. Now, last time I did use this mount, um, which is years and years and years and years ago, I finally found it. Um, it was all rusted out. I went ahead and put it in a uh, container, poured a bunch of Coke on it. No, not that Coke. Um, just regular Coca-Cola, so it would eat all the rust off there. And actually, didn't end up turning out too bad. 